Kaya Beach in Kisumu a happy lot after turning water hyacinth into biogas for cooking. Welcome to the broadcast. We begin tonight on the corridors of justice. The judiciary has in recent days been on the spot over the pace of trials and bail terms issued to suspects. President Uhuru Kenyatta has termed as ridiculously low bail terms given to accused persons in corruption cases. So what determines bail and bond terms? Can Kenya have a bail schedule which stipulates bail amounts to be given for different criminal offenses? KTN's Rita Tinina leads our broadcast tonight. The promulgation of the 2010 constitution brought with it a raft of reforms. Administration of justice is one area which witnessed critical changes. Under the old constitution, treason, murder and robbery with violent suspects did not have a right to bail. That changed. One of the fundamental rights which the constitution has given every citizen, irrespective of the offense that one has committed, is the right to bail. But even with the right to bail, bail and bond terms issued to suspects has generated a debate of its kind, especially in the renewed war against graft. Kenyan spirits are dampened when we witness subsects, su suspects released on ridiculously low bail terms. A 500 shilling bail term for a cheek chicken thief as against a four million fine for a 50 billion corruption suspect ought to be a matter of concern. Bail and bond terms are issued after consideration of several things among them, whether suspects are of flight risk, may endanger lives of witnesses, tamper with evidence, or interfere with investigations, something that is often left to the discretion of judges and magistrates. If the probability of you turning to trial is high, then they'll be able to give you reasonable bail terms. If the probability is such that you, are and you may not be, then they'll rather keep you in. To many Kenyans, bail terms given to suspects in high-profile corruption cases have been a slap on the wrist. Bail is not a fine, and therefore equating bail to a fine would be would be unjust. It's not reasonable and it's not fair. You don't know whether they stole or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so you cannot now use the bail as a punishment to them to feel the pinch, and you have not tried them. Some countries, such as the United States, have a bail schedule. They have those tariffs. If you commit this offense, the bail terms will be up to this level, unless there are other, as we said, compelling reasons that will make them deny you bail. Kenya's chief legal advisor, Attorney General Paul Kihara, wants Kenya to head in that direction. We need to consider reviewing the bail terms in corruption cases, which ought to be commensurate with the crime and secure the deterrence effect we hope to achieve. But the Bail and Bond Implementation Committee says such a framework cannot work in Kenya due to the huge social economic disparities. Uh, the court would, for example, ask for uh, a collateral or a security that would be of equivalent of two million shillings. But uh, in one region, you could not be able to have those collaterals like title deeds or car logbooks. Therefore, what that means, or the amount that to be paid, what that means, therefore, that one person would end up in prison for long, while the other one who can be able to afford those uh, amounts of money that the court would place would then be able to uh, afford uh, those amounts.